Hi! Today, we're gonna do a what's inside my RLE bag or duty bag. It is a 7.5 inches in height, 11.5 inches length, and 6 inches width. Nagkaroon kami ng duty bag noong first year, second semester, dahil meron ng return demonstration na tinatawag. Nandito yung black pouch na pinaglalagyan ko ng equipments pangkuha ng vital signs. Sa loob ay ang sphygmo manometer. This is my sphygmo manometer na nabili sa Bambang. Note, wag na wag manghuhula ng vital sign. Storytelling, one time yung prof ko pinalpit niya yung radial pulse ng patient ko during my return demo habang nakatingin sa meter. Next is a sterile cotton ball. Tip, pwede kayong bumili ng container lalagyan ng cotton balls with isopropyl alcohol. Next ay isopropyl alcohol. Any brand. Next ay cotton applicator. Tip. Kung bibili kayo nito sa Bambang, marami na yung isang box and pwede nyo nang paghatian na lang ng friend nyo tulad ng ginawa namin. Next ay tongue depressor. So, ginagamit ito para itest yung gag reflex ng patient. Ito yung tinitest kung intact ba yung cranial nerve number 9 at saka 10 nung patient. Yung reaction yung ng patient yung parang nasusuka sila. And yun yung normal findings. Next, we have reflex hammer. Ginagamit to pang test sa reflexes ng patient. Tip, highly recommended ng one of the best prof namin na color orange daw ang bibilihin. Bakit? Dahil ito raw yung sakto lang yung bigat na kinakailangan i-apply doon sa patient. Next ay Snell and Chart. So, ginagamit to pang assess sa vision. Next ay Pen Light. Kung mapapansin nyo, merong mga color black sa gilid ng pen light. Ang tawag doon ay pupillary gauge. Ginagamit siya sa pag-measure ng pupil's size at rest and yung constricted size. Super important to take note. Sabi ng professor namin, yung tamang pag-flash ng light sa eyes ng patient during physical exam or assessment ay magdodrawing ka ng number 7. Yung light manggagaling sa gilid, papunta sa gitna, and then bababa sa may ilong. Like this. Also, I highly suggest you invest in a good quality pen light. Why? Because it could alter the results. Especially for example, when you're examining the oral mucosa of the patient, baka pag flash mo, normal lang yung color, pero anemic na pala and pale. Next, we have tuning fork. Ginagamit pang test ng hearing and sensation sa vibration ng patient. Next, ay ruler. I suggest kuha kayo ng bendable 6 inches na ruler. 6 inches dahil recommended, bendable para durable. Next, ay syringes. Yung tuberculin 1 ml ay ginamit namin sa intradermal injection, return demo, kumbaga skin test. And meron din akong 1 ml na insulin syringe dahil nagkamali lang ng bili. Hello sa Red Dem partner ko. Thank you for being patient kahit naiyak ako sa intradermal. Anyways, kung magkakaroon kayo ng return demo ng injection, kung nyo na itong bilihin, ito yung ginagamit sa intradermal. The 
is 3ml ay ginamit naman namin sa intramuscular injection. Tip. I suggest bumili na kayo ng syringe na may needle ng kasama. So you don't have to buy needles anymore. Tulad nito. Next ay saline solution. Ginamit namin ito sa injection ng return demonstration. Always, always remember to look at the expiration date before actually administering it to the patient. Lalo kapag mga invasive drug dahil mas mabilis yung reaction and liable tayong nurses. So always check the expiration date. Next ay paper clip. I think para yata to sa neuro assessment. Ginagamit to para matest yung pain sensation ng patient. Gaganitihin lang siya. Then ganito. Next, tape measure. Next, I needles. Itong 27 gauge ginamit sa intradermal injection yung sa mga skin test. T25 gauge ginamit naman sa intramuscular injection. Remember, the larger the size number of the gauge, the smaller the needle is. And pag mag -e inject always bevel up. Next ay wristwatch. Nakuha namin to as freebie doon sa seminar na ginanap sa school namin. And then, next ay ang typical box of gloves. Most of the items here came from Bambang. Ilalagay ko na lang sa description box yung store and items with price. Last ay ang aking stethoscope. Classic 2 dahil I think student nurse pa lang naman ako. Tip para hindi nyo makalimutan kung paano gamitin ng maayos yung stethoscope. Itong part na to, lagi nyong tatandaan na it's always pointing towards the patient. So pag sinuot nyo siya pa ganito, meron din kaming ganito. Ito ay ginagamit pang test ng cranial nerve number 1, olfactory. Bali, pinapaamoy siya sa patient and then ia-identify niya kung ano yun. This is our name tag. I'll probably end this here. Thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!